हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ्स गाइडेंस एंड वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द मेथड्स ऑफ फैक्टराइजेशन वी हैड सीन टू मेथड्स एंड नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द थर्ड वन एंड मोर फोकस विल बी ऑन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन सो कैप्चरिंग दैट थर्ड मेथड एंड डूइंग ऑल दो सॉर्ट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन with all these three uh, methods so uh, that will be the focus of this lecture so let us start the lecture and uh, i hope you are liking the video so let us start the third method the method which or the types types of factorization it is factorizing the difference of two squares so the formula under this uh, topic is very simple it is x square minus y square is equal to x plus y multiplied by x minus y we all know this thing so nothing to uh, describe here we all know this uh, from very early classes so let us solve some questions okay question number 1 let us take x square minus 1 x square minus 1 minus 2a minus a square okay let us solve this one it will be like uh, that is equal to x square minus let us take minus common here minus 1 plus 2a plus a square i think that will, this will help us so that is equal to x square minus and you can write uh, a plus 1 whole square i think this is correct so that a square plus 1 plus 2ab 2a okay now this is of the form a, x square minus y square okay and now we can write here x plus this one and x minus this one so x plus let us first write x plus a plus 1 okay and x minus a plus 1 just write in brackets while in next next step will uh, open it x plus a plus 1 and here it will be x minus a minus 1 and this will be our answer okay simply use using this formula x square minus y square equal to x plus y into x minus y and in the first step we have arranged this one okay so let's let's understand through one more example this time we are taking 1 plus 2 ab Minus a square minus b square. Okay, so we can write it one minus. Let us take minus common minus, and this one we are writing first a square plus b square minus two ab. Okay, rearranging little bit so that it will fit in the formula. Now one minus. This is the square of a minus b. Okay, we can write this a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus two ab. Now this is of the form x square minus y square. This is we can take one square minus this one. So so factorizing this one, we will get a one plus a minus b. Okay, and one minus a minus b. now let us break this one 1 plus a minus b and here we will have 1 minus a and minus minus plus plus b so this will be our answer 1 plus a minus b 1 minus a plus b okay let us uh, solve one more we have to factorize a into a minus 1 Minus b into b minus one. Okay, so how to proceed this one? This question. So let us multiply this one. A square minus a minus b square plus b. All right. Now let us rearrange this one. I am taking this one. A square minus b square, and then plus b minus a. so now 
let us rearrange also this one a square minus b square minus i am taking common minus of a minus b so minus a and minus minus plus b this will help us now let us write this one a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b and let us write this one here so now we can take a minus b as common factor a minus b as common factor and the inside will be a plus b and minus 1 and this will be our answer this is the lowest uh, degree factor so this is the way to solve these problems so under this topic factorizing the difference of two squares we are using this formula x square minus y square equal to x plus y into x minus y and rearranging these things we are making it in the form of x square minus y square okay x square minus y square we are bringing this in the form of this and in this question we had used one more thing that is taking the factors common from this step okay so we are using two things now let us see some questions in which we are going to use all these three things or at least two two methods okay so let us proceed so i have taken six questions six questions and all of these questions are based out of two types first one is uh, uh, by taking out the common factor and second one by grouping so these two types are mixed here so we have to identify and solve it let us solve it one by one first one is a cube b minus a square b plus 5 a b minus 5 b so let us arrange in two groups first group this one second group this one let us see what happens so we will take a square b as common a square b as common here it will be a here it will be 1 and here we will take 5b common so that a minus 1 so this method is correct what we will get a square b plus 5b and here a minus 1 we can further break this one this one taking b common b a square plus 5 and a minus 1 so this will be our answer b a square plus 5 into a minus 1 okay now let us see second one second one is a b x square plus y square minus x y a square plus b square so let us first multiply all these things a b x square plus a b y square minus a square x y minus b square x y now let us see what we can take as common factor here it is a b x square here it is a square x y then a b y square b square x y so let us uh, take uh, a x okay a x common from this and this one or let us first make a grouping a b x square minus a square x y it will be one group and plus a b y square minus b square x y it will be another group now let us uh, factorize this one so we will take a and x common a x common so b x we will have here and a y we will have here similarly here we will take uh, b and y b and y common so that a and y we will have here and minus b x b x we will have here now slightly we will rearrange it b x minus a y here a y minus b x so better we will make this similar b x minus a y we will take minus common minus out minus b y here b x minus a y now this b x minus a y b x minus a y multiplied by a x minus b y so this will be our answer 
little bit of grouping and then taking common out this way we have to solve the questions now let us take the third question a b x square plus 1 a b x square plus 1 plus x a square plus b square a b x square plus 1 plus x a square plus b square okay let us see how to do it first of all let us multiply this one a b x square plus a b plus x a square plus x b square okay now we have to make the grouping and taking the common out so let us here it is a b x square here it is a square x let us take these things common in a grouping a b x square plus a square x plus a b plus b square x okay. now let us see what the common factor comes out here we can take a x a x then b x plus a here we can take b x b x then a plus b only we can take b out so a plus b x so this way this will be same means b x plus a and here we will have a x plus b okay done now let us take the fourth one fourth one is 3a minus 1 square minus 6a plus 2 fourth one is 3a minus 1 square minus 6a plus 2 this is the fourth one so what we will do 3a minus 1 whole square we will keep it like this minus we will take 2 as common 3a minus 1 minus 6a and plus 2 this is okay now we will take 3a minus 1 as common 3a minus 1 as common so inside we will have 3a minus 1 and minus 2 here so 3a minus 1 and here we will have 3a minus 1 minus 2 means minus 3 so again we can take 3 common here 3a minus 1 let us write 3 here and a minus 1 so this will be our answer 3 into a minus 1 and 3a minus 1 okay now fourth one is done and now let us solve fifth one fifth and sixth so i have added two more questions here so five six seven and eight so let us solve all of these questions fifth one what was the fifth question 8 minus 4a minus 2a cube plus a4 okay so here we will take here a, a cube common minus of a cube so here we will have 2 and here we will have minus 2 okay here also we will take 4 common 2 minus a minus a cube 2 minus a now we can write it like this 2 minus a is common and then 4 minus 4 minus a cube so this will be the simplified form or the factorization of this expression polynomial so let us move on to sixth one sixth one is x cube minus x square plus a x plus x minus a and minus 1 ok so here we will rearrange in the grouping and then taking the common out let us let us take something from here x cube minus x square plus a x plus x minus a minus 1 ok x cube minus x square so we have to do some arrangement x cube minus x square let us take in one grouping plus a x minus a in one grouping plus x minus 1 I think this will work yes so here we will take x square as common x minus 1 plus a common x minus 1 plus it is 1 x minus 1 so that it will become x minus 1 and x square 
plus of a plus of 1 so this will be our answer factorized now seventh one seventh question is a a minus 2 b minus c plus 2 b c okay so here let us first multiply this one a square minus 2ab minus ac plus 2bc okay now let us see which of the o's we have to take in grouping here if you take a then a minus 2b okay then it is good so we will take these two as grouping these two as grouping but first of all a square minus 2ab minus let us take minus common minus ac minus 2 bc okay so the grouping will be like this now here we will take a as common so a minus 2 b fine and here we will take c as common so a minus 2 b okay so a minus 2 b taking the common out and here a minus c so this will be our answer okay let's do this last one the question was like this a square x square a square x square plus a x square plus 1 multiplied by x and plus a so let us first multiply this thing so it will become plus a x cube plus x and plus a now we will take the grouping like this a square x square plus a x cube plus x plus a it will help now let us take common here a x square okay a x square common so that it will become a plus x and here we will take one common a plus x let us rearrange this one so now a plus x and here a x square plus 1 so this will be our answer so what we saw in these questions that we have to rearrange it minutely taking taking considering in mind that what will we get we are if we are benefiting from this grouping then it is okay otherwise we have to change our attitude change our uh, way of solving so like the, in this question we have 8 minus 4a minus a cube 2 minus a okay we make this grouping 8 minus 4a in one grouping this one in one grouping then we are taking it out then we see that 2 minus a is coming out as common so this is the way now it was uh, having six terms so we grouped it in two two terms and taking in uh, considering in mind that x minus 1 will be common it will come out from all the terms so this way we did it and here also we multiplied first and then we saw that uh, how will we be benefited from the grouping then we grouped it like this so a minus 2b comes out now the uh, last one was like this so we first of all multiplied this one and then we took uh, two terms common directly these two and these two and we saw that we are getting a plus x common so this is the way of uh, solving the questions now we are let us take some questions from the last topic uh, which we studied today the factorizing the difference of two squares some problems we will see okay so i have taken these six questions and let us do all these six so first one is 3x plus 5y whole square minus 4z square so you can write it like this 3x plus 5y whole square minus 2z whole square now it will be of the form a x square minus y square we can write it x plus y multiplied by x minus y so first of all let us write x plus y so plus 2z and here we will have 3x plus 5y minus 2z and this will be our answer okay now let us see the second one second one is 3 a cube b minus 243 a b cube okay so here we will take 3 a 
b 3 ab is common 3 ab so here we will have a square minus 81 b square now this is going to benefit us how it is of the form x square minus y square of the form x square minus 9 b all square okay so we will write it like this 3 ab x minus y and x plus y okay so this will be our answer now let us see the third one a square minus b square minus 4 a c plus 4 c square okay let's make one grouping the grouping will be like this a square minus 4 a c plus 4 c square and here we will have minus b square and we can write this one as a minus 2 c all square okay a square plus 4 c square minus 2 2 4 a c then minus b square now it is going to benefit us so we can directly write it a minus 2 c uh, plus b and a minus 2 c minus b okay directly using the formula x square minus y square is equal to x plus y multiplied by x minus y okay now let us solve the fourth one fourth one the fourth question was 27 a square 27 a square minus 48 b square okay so we will take something common let us take three common so that it will become 9 a square minus 16 b square now it will be easier so it will be 3 a whole square minus 4 b whole square now we can write it like this 3 into 3 a plus 4 b and 3 a minus 4 b okay x square minus y square equal to x plus y into x minus y now let us take the fifth one 9 a square plus 3 a plus 3 a minus 8 b minus 64 b square okay so here we will do first of all let us make the grouping 9 a square minus 64 b square plus 3 a minus 8 b this will be our grouping now we can write it 3 a whole square minus 4 sorry 8 b whole square okay and plus 3 a minus 8 b now we can write it like this x square minus y square so 3 a plus 8 b multiplied by 3 a minus 8 b and then plus 3 a minus 8 b now again we will take 3a minus 8b as a common 3a minus 8b as common so here we will have 3a plus 8b and here we will have 1 so this will be our answer now let us see the last one a minus b minus a square plus b square okay we will do some grouping <coughs> sorry so the grouping will be like this a minus a square if we take this one then minus b plus b square a 1 minus a so it will not help directly we can do like this a minus b minus a square minus b square this will be our grouping so it will become like a minus b minus a minus b into a plus b okay now we can write take a minus b common a minus b then 1 minus within bracket a plus b now you again bracket a minus b 1 minus a minus b and this will be our answer so we solved these six questions all these six questions we solved okay so i think uh, now it will be clearer clearer the picture is very much clearer so let us uh, close this topic and from the next topic we will uh, move on to the most important uh, 
method of factorization that is of quadratic polynomials okay so let's close this topic so friends uh, in this lecture uh, our focus was on the question and answer session so we discussed only one method that was that is of uh, squares factorization uh, based on the squares difference of squares and then we uh, solved some questions based on all the all these three topics which i have already discussed so i think uh, question solving and answering and that is a good way of uh, capturing the topic in our minds so i think this will surely help you in uh, understanding all these topics now let us close this uh, lecture here and uh, from the next lecture uh, we will see another method that is the most important method uh, uh, which we call uh, factorizing the quadratic polynomial and uh, one term also known as uh, splitting the middle term that is the most important topic we will capture it from the next topic and i hope you are liking the videos please like share and subscribe my videos thank you very much